Hello Pisces team, this is Caroline with your In My Feelings readings. This is a new series for mid-month readings. Um, they're shorter than the regular love readings monthly. Okay, so this is about how we're feeling after the full moon, what's coming to the surface, what feelings are around, what energies, okay? So keep that in mind, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter if you're new. And know that this could be either you who's watching um, Pisces or it could be for the cross watcher, okay? How they're feeling, all right? So let's see. Ooh, okay. I see a egoic, uh, egoic conversation by argument. Um, wow, okay. So, you had this argument with someone and things were said, truths came out, okay? So, um, even though it was hurtful to you, it's like, I feel like you, somebody knows the truth now, so they know what to work with now. So, as hurtful as it was, somebody was definitely in their ego, um, because of the truth is what I'm saying, uh, what I'm getting. So there was an argument, something came out, it was the truth, and now someone's confused on which way to go. It's like you got this truth, this could be the, you know, whoever you're dealing with, and now it's like they don't know which way to go. Should I stay or should I go? What should I do with this person? What am I supposed to do now? Like somebody is in stalemate energy, they don't know which way to go. They don't know to leave this person, leave this person or you know um stay if they leave they're like thinking some of you are thinking okay there's so many other people around me right now like i could be with anybody is what you're saying and here i am dealing with you know mr ego who's still in the ego or mrs ego whoever you know what i mean um gender doesn't matter so you're undecided I feel like this person, um, you found out some truth, like this person is either, you know, messing around with other people, they got so many people around them, um, they're really, um, they got too much going on around them is what I'm getting, and it's really affecting how they, they connect with you, okay? So, and you're also thinking, okay, it, this messed up everything, this truth that came out, it just messed up everything between us. Like, can we get over this? Am I going to ever get over this? Um, am I ever, is, is this person ever going to come out of their ego is what I'm getting. Also, is this person ever going to be honest with me again? Because they lied. They've been lying to me all this time. So... Okay, sorry guys, your energy is really um, Pisces. It's a little all over. Let's see what we have. Okay. Okay. That's good. So somebody's not doesn't know which way to go because you think you're going to get betrayed again by this person, okay? <clears throat> you think you're getting you're going to get betrayed again by this person. You think this is not the ending. Like they're going to betray me again. They're going to stab me in the back again, okay? So that's why you're not making a decision, but um you're thinking more logically is what I want to say um than your emotions and I feel like for some of you you already cut this person out I mean you cut communication out that's for sure you cut communication out you don't want to really speak to this person um you're like there's no point right now I don't know what to do like are they gonna mess me up again there are they gonna um 
betray me again? Are they going to lie to me again? Um, why is this here? You know, some of you had a lot of faith with this person, like, okay, um, like we're going to start, um, this new journey together. This could be you just reconciled with this person, or this could be someone new, um, for some of you, but it's like you, you thought this was going to work out this time if it was somebody who was from the past, but. Um, you're really disappointed in this truth you found out. And you're no longer trying to fight for this is what I'm getting. So if this is a person from the past, um, you're no longer trying to fight to make this work. Because you're like, okay, you know what? I'm done. Like, I don't even know what to think. I don't even know, you know, what to feel. Um... Yeah, but there's love there. There's love. There is love. But some of you are wondering, why do I even love this person? Like, why? I Why? Why? So some of you are questioning this in your feelings. Why do I love this person? Um, are they going to ever offer me what I want? This is too much. This is just too much is what I'm hearing. Okay, so I, I feel like, you guys, um, you know, I got something very similar in, was it Aries? So somebody is not telling the other person how they really want a serious commitment when they want one. So if you were dealing with someone who, yeah, confusion. Okay, yeah, you guys, some of you are dealing with an Aries, okay, <laughs> for sure. Um, somebody did not express their emotions because they had so many. So some of you might have wanted a serious connection and you didn't tell the other person, okay? And I feel like somebody maybe um, went out and dated other people or whatnot and then you 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 found out, and that was the truth that came out, and you're just like, what? Like, whatever. Um, but you didn't tell this. This is for some of you, okay? Not everybody in the planet, okay? You didn't tell this person that you want something solid. You want a commitment, or you want them to be monogamous. And then you heard or you found out that they were, you know, going around with other people, whatnot, take it how it resonates with you, whatever form um, it is. So then you found out, and then now you're like totally mad. You're like, oh my God, like this person betrayed me, this, that. This is only for some of you, okay? So keep that in mind. Did you really tell, quit. you'll know if this is for you or not. Did you tell the person, I want you to be my boyfriend? Or I want you to be my girlfriend. I want you to be monogamous with me. Like, did you use any of those words? I want ex us to be exclusive. Um, whatever it was, okay? So this is only for some of you. So keep that in mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this person, um, I'm telling you, this is for some of you guys are definitely de dealing with an Aries or a Capricorn, um, but Aries got very similar message, so um, removing toxicity, okay, somebody's really um, has been in the ego for a long time, okay, but it's like it's coming out is what I want to say, they're coming out of the ego, um, just keep that in mind, it's like, oh, I, I, what I got is one last, um, is bout even a word? I'm hearing bout, whatever that means. One last bout of ego. Um, this was the last bout of ego is what I'm getting for some of you. Okay. So, um, 
Yeah, definitely somebody's coming out of the ego. Um, these cards. They know they messed up. They know they messed up. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So whoever you're dealing with, this is a soulmate energy is what I'm getting. And um, the conflicts you had in regards to this person in the ego is due to um, there's a karmic cycle that is coming to a close with this person. So definitely soulmate energy. So whatever they did, it's like they have to balance karma out. Um, you know they did not do it intentionally, you all. So karma does need to be balanced out between soulmates. So, yeah, it is ugly, okay? It's not beautiful. Um, for some of you who don't know, um, if you you always accumulate karma together, whether, you know, what we consider bad karma, good karma, we got to learn our lessons. And so that's why there was conflict in your connection between both of you. But I feel like, the karma is like the wheel is going to start to turn. Um, this person is coming out of this, this ego consciousness and they are, yeah, it's definitely whoever walked away. It's from the other person that has, the, that is going through the karma. I mean, you're feeling the karma for sure. Okay. But it's like, sorry guys, I'm having a really bad hair day today. <laughs> I can't can't look at myself um someone did walk away okay but whoever walked away know that it's you're supposed to walk away don't feel bad about it I know some people make you feel bad when you walk away this could be the person you're dealing with this toxic um, energy that they have but this person is coming out of it and you are walking away so you can learn you can learn from this experience okay however ugly it is you're gonna learn something from this experience and i feel like something really good is coming i don't know i feel something really good is coming <coughs> excuse me out of this experience for you even though it's ugly you found out some ugly truth yeah tower moment was here um tower moment definitely like, this truth, the way you found out, was not cool. Um, I'm using nice words. Um, so, and it makes you feel like um, this person doesn't care about you. They could never be, you know, your husband or wife. Like, you feel like, okay, this can't happen. This absolutely cannot happen. Like, this, we failed at this. Like, no, it's not. We failed at this connection. Okay, um, oh my god, this is so interesting. So, you're like, okay, this is what somebody's thinking. Someone's thinking, I got a really good head on my shoulders. I, I want to be successful. I am on the way to make my life, you know, amazing. Um, I'm dedicated to my purpose. I'm dedicated to my, you know, whatever. Okay, so, but... You can't be on board with me because you're not. And it doesn't matter gender, you guys. So it's the other person. It's like you can't be these people, okay? Because one person, one person is saying you can't be this person anymore for me. There's no way. Um, somebody does think they're too good for someone for sure, okay? Um, and they're thinking like, okay, like I'm trying to move up to this level, right? And you're not even, like, here, okay? I want to say, <laughs> as egotistical as this sounds, it's like, is this person ever going to get, you know, meet me at a level we can both, like, have this this solid connection, okay? So, um, anyhow, let me see what the advice is. Okay, answered prayers. So all your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. So you are supported. Connect with spirit. They're waiting to help you. They know that this is a hard time for you right now, but it's meant to happen because you're going to learn something and someone is balancing karma out. 
this could be you or both. I mean, you both are somehow balancing karma out because you both um, are soulmates, like you're each other's soulmates. So regardless, you're going to learn a lesson from this and your prayers are being answered, which means blessings are on their way to you, okay? Know that you're going to come out of this, okay? With their head up, okay? Hope that makes sense to you guys. If this has helped you in any way, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know how it resonates with you. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell, and I will talk to you all next time. Take care. Bye.